we adopted the decision imposing fines totaling 427 million euros on Servier and several other pharmaceutical companies because uh, they have breached the antitrust rules. Our investigation has shown that Servier committed an abuse by pursuing an anti-competitive strategy to delay the entry into the market of cheaper generic versions of its drug Perindopril. As part of this strategy, Servier entered into anti-competitive agreements with uh, some generic makers. This is a serious breach of our antitrust rules, and the companies have been sanctioned accordingly with total fines of 427 million euros, 330 million of which should be paid by Serbia. These sanctions are proportionate to the infringement committed. They take into account, as always, the gravity and the duration of the infringement, and they also aim to deter other companies from engaging into the same kind of anti-competitive practices. Throughout this term, the Commission has fought the joint attempts by certain originator companies and their generic competitors to share rents instead of focusing on competing and innovating. In today's case, a company tried hard to unduly prolong its exclusivity. And it managed to do so not through innovation or the strength of its patents, but thanks to its deep pockets and in complicity with its generic rivals. Such behavior is prohibited. When companies break these rules, they will be pursued and penalized accordingly. In our view, pharmaceutical companies should focus their efforts on innovating rather than attempting to extract extra rents from patients and taxpayers.